Um, it feels good, but at the end of the day, it's just an opportunity I'm given. It's about what you do with your opportunities um, that matters. When you feel, I mean, you got some potential first round picks on the starting staff. Obviously, you had a great year last year. How do you feel about the uh, weekend rotation? I feel like we have three Friday guys, like a lot of people have said. Um, honestly, it could have been any one of us, but um, it just ended up happening in the way that the coaches announced it, and we're all ready to go out there and do our thing. Brian, Juco guy, now you're captain of the Kings. How crazy is it for you? It's surreal, honestly. It feels good to know I have the respect of my teammates and my coaches um, in a leadership role. And overall, I think we have a lot of leaders on this team. Um, I was just voted captain along with Del Castillo, and like I said, we're just ready to get this thing rolling. They, they, they always say that the goal here is to go to Omaha, but there's a lot more expectations on this team being ranked high. You know, how do you guys temper that and stay on task? You know, how do you not look too far ahead? Like I said, at the end of the day, I mean, it's all just hype going into the season, but at the end of the day, we have to prove ourselves so if you ask that same question at the end of June, then I'll have more to say about it. But at the end of the day, we're just all this preseason talk. It doesn't really mean much. So yeah, it feels feels good knowing that people respect us going into the season. But we just have to go out there and prove ourselves so that we can have those same accolades postseason because that's when it really matters. Obviously, the team goal is to win the couple of series. Uh, what, what are some personal goals for you this year? Um, I don't really think about personal goals. Um, I just feel like as long as I do my thing every time I'm handed the ball and put the team in the best position to win, um, the individual accolades would just take care of itself because once you get too caught up in doing things for yourself and individually, you kind of start to stress, stress out. But as long as we work together as a team and nobody worries about their individual stats and stuff like that, I feel like we'll be put in a really good spot. You just got to treat every game, every day like it's game day. Um, come out here, practice, whether it's a practice scrimmage. Um, like I said, um, Friday night when we start our season, um, you got to treat every day like it's Friday night. Um, you can't take anything for granted. Um, every day is a gift, so. I can't imagine there are a lot of fifth year seniors who are like the opening day starters. You know, a lot of times it's juniors, guys who are you know, potentially going to get, a lot of guys leave after three years. What do you feel like is the biggest thing for you who's with this time here has changed since you first uh, got to Miami? Um, a big uh, quote I like to like tell myself is just run your race. Everybody has a different uh, journey in life. Um, yeah, I'm 23 years old and I'm still playing college baseball unlike a lot of other people. But um, at the end of the day, I'm just blessed to be here. I'm blessed to be, hopefully get a degree in May from the University of Miami. And I'm just blessed to be in this position to be part of this team. and all this uh, hype going into the season, we're just ready to put it out there. Do you feel like you've changed a lot as a pitcher or just kind of refined with you always? Um, I've definitely developed over these past uh, two years I've been here, well, one year and now yeah. my second year. But um, yeah, for sure, I mean, just the weight training, um, working with JD, just the way I see the game, and I feel like I'm, I'm taking more of a mental approach um, with everything, so. Brian, I'm not sure if you've gone through this already here, but um, coming from Broward and giving yourself a chance to play at the University of Miami and now giving them the ball. They're giving you the ball for their first game. How does that make you feel? How does that inspire you to make the best out of the season? Um, it, it makes you feel good. and it, it makes me uh, realize that the coaches have my respect and they're uh, excited for me to take the ball and open up the season. I'm grateful for the opportunity. But as I said before, I mean, it's just an opportunity. I can't get too caught up in that itself. Um, I just got to play my game and do what I did last year and what I, what I, just my game in general. Um, and I feel like after that, I'll, I'll be all right. What have you done to specifically prepare for Rutgers so far? Um, so far, I'm, I have a bullpen today at practice, so that's going to help me prepare. But um, other than that, we haven't really got into a scouting report or anything like that, so. Anything else for Brian?